Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's so nice to see you today. I hope that this video finds you well and that you are enjoying day 600,000 in isolation. <laughs> um, so today is Thursday the 16th of April. Um, we in here in Australia, um, we are in the first week, just at the end of the first week of the school holidays. And we are then looking at another week of school holidays and then um, term two resumes the week after. So I wanted to jump on and do a video today just to check in and see how everyone's going. Um, to give you a little bit of an update on what I've been working on and some plans and things that I would like to do coming up. So it's just been the Easter weekend, so happy Easter to everybody. I hope that you had a very blessed season. Somewhat strange and a little bit different than usual, but blessed nonetheless. I worked the whole Easter weekend, um, but on Easter Sunday, I got to start a little later, which was amazing. And so I got to have family breakfast with my boys. And of course the obligatory Easter eggs, hunting and all of that stuff. And um, so there definitely was a lot of chocolate consumed and I, needless to say, I'm back on my walk-in and really being aware of what I'm putting in my body so that my weight loss journey continues. <laughs> so at this very moment, I've lost uh, eight point something kilos um, and I've got another five to go at this point and then I'll reassess um, and readjust for some different health goals after that. So I hope, like I said, that this video finds you well. I hope that you are managing to keep busy or, um, you know, and that we're all looking at ways to kind of reduce the busyness of life when everything starts to go back to normal. I feel like I'm gonna look at things a little bit differently and not try to, go at such a fast pace. I know that I say that and it's very possible that that's all going to go out the window when um, restricted access and things starts to lift but I'm going to hold on to that and and try to make myself accountable. So if this is your first time that you have stumbled across my videos, hello and welcome. I hope that you enjoy your stay and that you will hit that subscribe button and of course like the video and comment down below on what you are working on in this current season because I definitely love to connect with my YouTube community and I'm so thankful for every single one of you because during this time where I guess there is so much unsettled and and things are changing at such a rapid fast rate. It's really nice to have the stability and the continuity of YouTube and the amazing people that I watch um, literally make my day brighter all the time. So like I said, I've been pretty much working a lot and um, I'm hopeful that it's going to start to settle down a little bit soon. Though, you know, we can never really be sure. Um, so as far as my crafty time has gone, I haven't really felt super motivated or, and I know that I've actually watched quite a few people recently in the last few days because I thankfully have had, this is my third day off in a row. Um, and a lot of people are feeling the same way, a little bit blur, a little bit like we just don't really want to do anything much. So today was a, was one of those days and I must admit I had to like force myself to get up and put day clothes on. We had run out of a few things um, at home. So I had to do a quick duck to the local shop. Um, so I'm not going to any like large shopping centers or anything like that. I'm literally just going to the local um, 
closest to home sort of duck in and out kind of thing. I'm being very deliberate about where I'm actually going when I'm not at work and that's pretty much nowhere. <laughs> Um, except for going up to church to pre-record um, worship and segments and things for the upcoming week, which we do under safety, um, you know, like we, we're following all of the isolation rules and the dis social distancing and all of that, of course. But so I have got a couple of things that I've just tried to be working on and I found a project this morning that I am all heart eyes and excited about and I can't wait to start that which I will talk to you about soon as well but I brought I bought this kit from the knitting network a while ago I spoke about it on my on my on a previous episode and I started the blanket um so this is all that I've got done so far which is not very much but um, I'm really loving it I've um, learnt a couple of new ways like to do bobble stitches and things like that so that's been really nice and somewhat therapeutic for me in the evenings when I get home and I literally just want something um, to keep a little bit of interest but not really trying to learn any new crazy new skills or anything at the moment I just don't have the the um the brain power almost but i'm really loving the colors this is the first time that i'm using go to dk which is uh, a yarn that is from the uk and i definitely spoke about it and i put in the color pack in my last episode so if you want to have a look go back and check that out that's the first time that i'm using that yarn um it's not the softest yarn i will say it does feel it does feel nice when it's worked up and I'm sure that as it um, is worked up and then washed, I think that it will soften up even more and it will be beautiful. Um, but it is a little bit sort of toothy, I suppose, when you're working with it. Not enough to put me off or make me um, like want to use another yarn, but probably, but just wanting to, um, yeah, just kind of keeping it real with you guys as far as what what I think of the yarn so but I am I am really enjoying that and I I am um yeah I'm really enjoying it I've also cast on a pair of socks in the cutest little bunny bowl that I've ever seen this is it's not a yarn bowl by any means but it is um so I, I bought it online at Easter time um from Kmart which is just one of our local shops in Australia I bought it online so I didn't have to go to the store um, and I think it was like two dollars fifty or something something absolutely ridiculous and it is absolutely the cutest thing ever but have a look at this gorgeous skein of yarn now if you followed me for a while you know that my color palette started off very bright and very bold and very out there gotcha colors and then I kind of went down the rabbit hole of pastels and muted colors with lots of speckles I am a speckle queen and I love them but I was browsing on Instagram a couple of weeks ago and one of the yarn dyes that I follow um, NNK yarns which is never not yet knitting yarns it's an Aussie um, the, it's um, it's a local dyer, so it's an Aussie dyer. She had put this picture up of this delicious skein. And before I knew what was happening, I had clicked and PayPal'd out of there, straight up. I was like, nope, that is absolutely divine. And the reason that I was so heavily attracted to it, I think, is just because of what's going on at the moment and that, you know, for me personally, I am so deliberately looking for the blessings and... Um, in all of the situations and this is not excluded from that so hence the reason that I started these socks yesterday and I have done this much on the foot already because I cannot get enough it is all the divine I love how it's micro striping up it's beautiful these are my always look for rainbows socks and I'm going to remember this moment and this season when my socks are finished and and I'm going to, you know, and, and it's going to be a moment that I, um, that I continually look back on and 
um, you know, continue to want to look and see for the rainbows because they are everywhere. We just have to open our eyes to see them. So I'm knitting these needles on Chiagu Red Lace Fixed Circular Needles. Um, they are a 2.5. I do toe up socks. I cast on 14 stitches and I increase until I've got 60 stitches. Uh, that tends to be good for my feet. Um, I do a rounded toe, um, which I prefer much better than the more angled, um, the wedge toe, I think it's called. I, I feel like that's quite a harsh transition, especially if you're changing colors, which I wasn't in these, in this um, pair, but I just have literally sat yesterday and knit, 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 knitted and been watching podcasts. Um, we did do some cleaning in the house yesterday, but I have just enjoyed every single stitch of working on these socks. And I just, I know that they are literally just going to fly off the needles because I am loving seeing the pops of colors come through. I'm loving the micro striping that's happening and the, it's just beautiful yarn to work with. And I'm so excited um, to see how they work up. So I, like I said, I'm using Chiagu Red Lace Fix Circulars. I have to say, I'm not loving them for sock knitting though I'm persevering because um, I've actually just ordered two more pair, uh, like two more fixed circular needles. Um, my favorite sock knitting needles are actually from Knit Picks and they are obviously based in the US. Um, they are just their wooden fixed circulars. I love them. I think um, perhaps I love them so much because they were actually the needles that I first started knitting socks with and I feel like that's probably why I continue to go back to them and find them very comfortable um, but because knit picks are obviously in the US and I'm not really sure that they're shipping um, to Australia at the moment um, I and I wanted to basically I just need to have another two pair, another two sock needles that are always available so I have got four sock needles that I use all the time um, if you followed or watched any of my previous episodes, you know that I um, do the my socks concurrently. So I knit them um, two at a time, but separately, except these ones I'm not because I have only got one needle. So I am going to knit them one at a time and I will continue on mostly just because this yarn is like the bomb.com and... I love it. The colors literally just sing to my heart at the moment. I cannot get enough of them. Um, and so I'm basically just going to persevere. I think I will eventually, like I use, when I was knitting, um, I used Chiagu Red Lace, these needles all the time. And they're beautiful. I love the stainless steel. They're so, they glide in and out of the yarn. It's beautiful. But I think it just takes a little bit of time to sort of re, like to re get used to, um, if that's even like proper language, but to like re get used to, um, I'm saying um a lot, sorry, to re get used to these different knitting needles. And I, as soon as Knit Picks are re shipping, I will definitely order another four of the fixed circular sock, sock yarn needles because I love them. But um, for the moment and probably for the next, I don't know, few months, it might be like this that we can't actually get any um, parcels in internationally and it's certainly taking much longer anyway even domestic parcels like I've ordered um, some I've ordered from Kmart and Priceline which are just you know everyday stores here in Australia and it's taking much longer to even get shipping notices so I can only imagine that the the amount like the volume of um, parcels that are being shipped globally and domestically have increased massively over these next, uh, like over the last few weeks. And I would suggest over the next few months coming ahead. So yeah, basically that means that I just got to suck it up and get on with the sock knitting. So they are pretty much the only things that I've been working on and even the only things that I've wanted to work on. I have been looking to find a pattern for a crochet cardigan to make because I wanted to make one 
for myself for this coming winter season and I just hadn't really found anything that I loved until this morning I was scrolling on Facebook and um, Make and Do Crew have released a brand new cardigan pattern called the Retreat Cardigan. Um, it's gorgeous. I love it. Um, and I will insert a picture of the cardigan um, that I'm going to do here. So it is pretty gorgeous, isn't it? I'm really excited. Um, so the pattern itself calls for worsted weight yarn. I am going to use DK weight yarn and I am going to use the Fiddlesticks um, Superb 8, which is an anti-peel DK. It is divine. It is so soft and squishy and beautiful in your hands. And I can only imagine that it is going to feel like butter working through the crochet hook. Um, it's gorgeous. I'm doing mine in a like a denim -y kind of blue color, which I will show you when I've started it. Um, and I'm going to do the starburst grannies in like new, um, like neutral colors, like dusty pink and olive and cream. Really, really neutral, beautiful for winter, stuff that I can wear, grab and go. I kind of want like the cardigan to be the grab and go cardigan that I use um, this season where I can like, um, you know, grab it and wear it to church if we get to be, you know, going outside again and whatever. But, but even like, you know, grabbing it, wearing it over jeans, you know, wearing it over tights, just a super, super warm and cozy um, cardigan. And I am so stinking excited to get started. I did buy the PDF um, version, which is available from her blog, uh, from her website, though there is a free pattern that will be released in stages um, on her blog. But I am all about supporting designers, especially during this time. Um, so I was super excited just to get the pattern and it's actually like 25 pages or something like the things that I love about her patterns make and do crew is that she's very very thorough um, there's lots of links where you can actually go and see videos and things I'm a very visual learner and that for me works so well so I'm really excited that there's lots of um, things put in place um, for that so that's just pretty much my super quick check-in video um, I know that it's not very long I don't have a huge amount to share with you but I nonetheless wanted to get on and make a video just to check in and make sure that we're all doing okay um, please know that if you are struggling reach out to me you can follow me on Instagram I will leave my handle um, up here now and of course um, please comment in the box below and let me know like what you're working on during this isolation period and things that you are finding joy in at this time. So I hope that you continue to look for the rainbows, be blessed, happy hooking or knitting or crafting, do whatever makes your heart happy and I will see you again very soon.